He that I am not as other men are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, and evil, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Oh, wow. Pat him on the back. Amen. Good boy. Verse 13, the second scenario is of a man who is broken by his sinfulness and is humble before God. And he cries out to God for salvation with seven simple words. You see them in verse 13. It says, and the publican standing afar off would not uh, lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, say it with me, God be merciful to me, a sinner. You want the mercy of God? Hmm. One of these men went back to his home. The Bible says justified, saved. The other went home lost. You know which one? Which one represents you this morning? You're going to leave this church either saved or lost today. I don't know how you came in, but you're going to leave one way or the other. You're going to leave either still in your sins, lost, not receiving the mercy of God, not knowing God as your own father. Or are you going to leave today with a smile on your face, saved, knowing that you've received mercy from the hand of God, that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, that you believe, put your faith and trust in that, and you've, you've, you've grasped a hold of the mercy of God and the grace of God this morning, and you'll leave this, this morning as a child of God, knowing that heaven is one day going to be your home. I hope you leave saved this morning. I'm going to say, if you've had a breakup, if you've come to the point of a breakdown, then you need a breakthrough. Come this morning for salvation. Come for rededication. Come to, to renew your commitment to him for church membership, whatever it may be. Uh, Philip Steen, uh, Craig and Dean had a song out a few years ago. It said, Mercy came around like a prisoner set free, past all my failures, to the point of my need, when the sin that I carried was all I could see, and when I could not reach mercy, mercy came running for me. Let me just close with this illustration. Mark Rutland in his book, Streams of Mercy, tells the following story. He says, I sat, I sat by the hospital bed of an angry homosexual who was dying of AIDS. By the way, this took place in Lakeland, Florida. He was a 19-year-old Hispanic man wearing a frilly pink negligee and holding a teddy bear. Get the picture? I guess you came to tell me that God hates gays, the man in the hospital bed said. No, I was afraid that's what you thought, said the preacher. I came to tell you that God loves gays. I'm nearly 20, the man said. He sped out with an angry voice. I've had several hundred men as lovers since I was 12. You mean God's not mad about that? He's not mad. He's sad, said the preacher. You gave yourself AIDS, and your creator is so very sad. Well, you're a strange preacher, he said, tears of frustration brimming in his eyes. Am I? In what way? Well, don't you think that sodomy is a sin? Yes, certainly I do, said the preacher, just like adultery and fornication and murder and stealing are sins. But I also know that God still loves you. He is no more horrified by your sins than he is by mine. The author continues, We talked for more than an hour about God's love, his forgiveness, and especially his mercy. Before he prayed with me to confess his sins and trust Christ as his Savior, uh, or after, we, after he prayed with me to confess his sins and trust Christ as his Savior, when he looked up at each other from that prayer, he immediately asked for an orderly. Please, he said, tell them to hurry. I don't want to die in a pink nightgown. A few hours later, that young man died in a plain green hospital gown. Just before he died, he whispered to me, the preacher said, at my funeral, he said, at my funeral, there'll be a lot of gays. Preach. His voice, weak voice began to trail off. Preach. What? I ask him, preach on what? Preach mercy. Preach on mercy. This morning I preached on mercy. Because maybe 
You're the person that needs to hear that today. Would you bow your heads with me this morning? Thank you, Lord, for the mercy of God.